Hello everyone and welcome to one of the first videos that I will be commentating along. Hopefully this will give you an insight as to how I was feeling, how the match was going and just a different perspective of uh, the match in general. This match we're going to be focused on today is one of my all-time favourites. The final from the Dutch Open way back in 2012 against another great opponent, great friend, uh, Sebastian Chris Manich, one of my toughest ever opponents. And this was a fantastic match. So let's go st get straight to it. Okay. So we're just testing the, the pads here. Always very nervous before the match begins. Um, just wanted to find my feet into the match and this was a big big moment um, for me oh nice spin straight off the bat so my what we planned straight away was to was to attack um, Chris Manich uh, to be honest with you I, I wasn't even thinking of spin until the referee lifted his hand and then when we see the slow-mos later I actually look like I'm about to pull out from the spin but then just just commit with it and um, I was lucky to score that he actually connected with a very nice back kick um, which he didn't score so I was lucky I think I, I led the match here by, by a couple of points a little bit of a low blow there again I, like what I was saying just trying to find my feet in the match I think we were both pretty nervous it being the finals a lot of people there watching my parents are up there in the stands right at the, back, right at the top um, but yeah it, luckily it wasn't too, too bad of a shot there we were able to continue Nice. I uh, remember him. One of the main threats Chris Manich has is his doubles. So we tried to um, get in and get out as fast as possible, not linger in that middle distance. His his counter doubles low higher of ferocious. So um, you know, like I said, just trying to get in and out, and when he gets moving back, um, try and open up with with a couple of kicks. You've seen that so 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 dangerous with that shift back double low high. Had to be very aware the whole match. Again, he tries that there. Luckily, he falls over. Yeah, I had to be so, so aware. Most of the match, I led with his front leg, just trying to keep him at bay. And if he did move back, then try and try and follow. But always keeping my head back whilst doing this. I was a little bit lazy there. I got lucky. I was able to push him away. If he had tried that low high double there would have been would have been in a bit of trouble. There was that front leg again, just getting off the distance as fast as possible. First round is always tricky, always trying to um suss out your opponent, see what they're doing. Just trying a few different stances here, seeing what his reaction was. Again, they're a little lazy with the front leg. Um but overall decent first round. I think I was winning by a couple of points, two, three points. And then we just go into the second round. We knew who was going to up the pressure, so just um, just hold my ground and uh, maintain this plan. So I started pretty strong again, trying to push him back. Just always staying ready because he is so explosive. He can free kick. So he tries that double again, that low high double. We're expecting him to try that. That was silly again, throwing a kick. Oh, nice spin though. Nice, nice. Had him in the corner there. Let him out. To be honest, that wasn't that wasn't good. I'm um, just trying to hold this ground here. That was nice. Just a little bit of a change up, changing uh, my decision there instead of moving back, closing in. Again, back leg. That was a little bit slow. Moves off to the side. That was a really good counter by him. Okay, I can't remember the score at this point, but um, yeah, I followed there um, and I went down. I think back, back in. Oh, nice, nice head shot there. Just a little bit unlucky. I was trying to draw him in. And then go high. Oh, he tries a spin here. Nice. Good pressure by him. Oh, nice. That was that was a little bit unlucky. That was a nice plan. Nice little setup I tried there. I thought he'd try and rush in. I tried... Um, most people look out for my left spins. But I, I, I tried to set up a, a right spin there. But he's very, very aware. Again, falling down. I can't remember back in 2012, if, if every time I, I fell on the floor, it was, was a Kyongo. But um, yeah, I'm on the floor quite a lot, so <laughs> I don't really like the new rule of a, a gamjung every time I fall down because I do try some some crazy shots sometimes. It's nice to have a, a little bit of leeway if I if I make a mistake. But yeah, controlling the match here again, staying in the middle of the ring a lot, not not moving back. That was good, good second round. He tried a lot of pressure there. 
So yeah, what I was feeling going into this last round, again, I can't remember the score, but I was uh, maybe up by a couple of points. Patrice is just trying to say, just be very careful of those doubles. You know, watch your steps, always be alert. You know, these were one minute 30 rounds at this tournament. So just trying to increase my lead a little bit going into the last round. I knew Chris Manch would come out strong. He's such a strong opponent, such a strong fighter. And this match is probably one of the craziest rounds of uh, my Taekwondo career. So let's watch it unfold. Yeah, starting with that front leg again, being a little bit lazy. That, that's unfortunate. He shouldn't have got a, a gantung. I feel like it wasn't holding my leg. And yeah, trying that front leg. I remember Patrice saying, follow, follow after this one, after the front leg. I remember hearing that. So, yeah, he tries that double again, again, being lazy with that. So now I think I follow up. I go with the front leg, follow with a double. Okay, didn't try it this time. It must be this this uh, this time now. Follow with the double. Nice. I knew the counter back leg was coming. I should have just gone direct, direct chop up. I tried the crazy spin, but uh, that's my style. Yeah, silly again. Look at that. That was silly with that front leg, and he tried a, a beautiful check reverse. I remember saying to myself, oh, this didn't score, this didn't score, but I remember it hitting like the back of my neck. You know, nowadays it would be a point anyway with the electronic um, head guards, but back then there wasn't. So, yeah, I tried that. I knew, right, I'm going to try and get him back. There's the spin 180 double straight to the face. That was very nice. I got very, very lucky. His his hand kind of caught my spin and it allowed me to take my double high. I remember that. That was a really nice shot. Fair play to him though for getting up from that. That was right on, on the chin. He must be even dazed at this point. I remember now I must be winning by a couple of points just trying to hold him off. I think we both scored that exchange there. Um, so again, I'm still winning by maybe two points. This is a little bit silly. I shouldn't have backed myself back into that corner. About five seconds to go. Yeah, that's silly. I should have controlled the ring like I had done the whole match. Yeah, just a little bit sloppy here. You know, yeah, he's just trying to get me out of the ring. That'd be another another Kyongo. At this point, I know I, was, I haven't had a two-point cushion. I know the match had, was won. I didn't want to engage and... Uh, you know, he, he could catch me at any, with any shot. So, yeah, it was so nice, so nice to win that tournament. That was back uh, before the Olympics in, in 2012. And, of course, Chris Manich went on to win the gold medal. So he went on to bigger and better things. And, but it was a fantastic match. Amazing, amazing crowd and amazing to, to share that experience with Chris Manich. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, this little insight. And here are some of the slow-mos, just so you can recap on some of the best shots of the match. Um, some amazing kicks there from both of us. Yeah, one of my one of my favourite kicks of, of my career, that one. But it was a, a memorable match. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I know most of you have probably already seen this match, but hopefully this, this insight of me giving you um, what I was feeling and... Um, if I can remember way back then, but um, no, it was it was amazing. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next ones. Please give a thumbs up on the video. It really does help. And um, if you like it, then I will commentate on some, some other amazing matches um, that I was a part of. Thank you guys.